Hi fams, happy new year and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Please don't forget to hit that notification button so that you are notified every time there is an upload. Okay fam, so I know that there are plenty of tutorials and just kind of like how-to videos out there on how you want to kind of install your faux locks and I didn't want to be redundant. I have quite a few already on my channel that I can link, but I did want to kind of talk about the pros and cons when you have faux locks. So that's what I think I'm going to kind of surround and, and kind of formulate this video so to say to be it's kind of like the pros and cons and what to expect when you do have an installation of faux locks i've had these particular faux locks for about a week now and they were sent to me from divatress.com so shout out to divatress.com make sure you do check them out for all of your beauty supply needs and they also sent me this let me show y'all this cute diva tress shirt that i have on as well and the type of locks that I have in my head are the Free Trust Braid Cuban Gorgeous Lock. These are in the color number two. Of course, you all know that that's the color I get when I do kind of the natural color of different um, protective style installations. Um, there are two bundles in a pack, and I'll open this in just a second, and they're 12 inches. I did want to do um, something that was a little different, and I wanted to do shorter locks, so... Let's open this up so you guys can get a closer look. And when it says two times, it just means that it comes with two of the amount that would be in one pack. And they're very soft. They're very nice. Um, they're thicker than some of the other locks. So keep that in mind if you're looking for something that's a little thicker. Let's do a close up so you guys can kind of really see how the lock looks like this. And then, of course, you have, can you guys see that? That's where you would crochet it on, depending on how you want to install your locks. Now, for these, I decided to install them in a way that would be a little more natural and wouldn't have the knot at the root. So what that simply means is that when I'm braiding my hair, I separate my hair into three different parts and I kind of you don't need a crochet needle for this and you braid this you just stick your hand through and you kind of braid it into your hair with the lock so that's kind of how that's done it's easier it's kind of a more seamless finish when you do it that way and it's also easier to wrap instead of like completely braiding your hair in that kind of box braid first and then crocheting the faux lock through the braid that kind of leaves like a hump and it's kind of hard to try to like wrap once you start the process of wrapping so it's kind of hard to do that but doing it the way that I've explained will make it more seamless and kind of like that natural finish and have a natural look to it one thing that I will say about these particular locks is that they do swell so that'll kind of go with the pros and cons they do swell um because you do have to sort of like unravel the lock to get it straight so that's gonna happen the kind of swelling is gonna happen they do last and one thing that i will say that is another con or take it how you want to is that sometimes you can see like the braid kind of like sticks up a little bit because if you think about it it's just wrapped around it's not like um it's, it's just kind of wrapped around from being um twisted so it's not a full coverage type of thing as if you had loose hair and you're wrapping around it itself you're kind of finagling it to fit inside of here so you're going to be able to see the braid sometimes and if that's an issue for you then Maybe these aren't for you, but if it's not, and it's not that noticeable, um, I notice it when you manipulate the hair. So for example, I have my hair going over this way. And because I've pulled my hair over this way, sometimes you can see a couple of the braids. Um, let's see, let me do a spin for you guys so that you can kind of see the back of my hair. the back um, 
And I do like these because they have the curls at the end. So instead of you having to like install, let's say, um, some type of hair that's like this, like a wavy type of hair or a deep wave type of hair, it already comes with it. You can also choose to cut this off. Um, my hair isn't this long quite yet, so you can also choose to cut it off if you want to, to not have the curls at the bottom. Some do come without the curls at the bottom, but it's really cute and I love the length of them. They are 12 inches, even though they feel like they are longer than 12 inches. Um, yeah, y'all, that's about it for the pros and cons for me. You know, it, it really, it just depends. With any protective style, it is trial and error. So put them in, see how you like them, see, you know, if it's a style for you. Um, this particular hair doesn't itch my scalp. I do have a sensitive scalp and it doesn't itch. So I think that that's a really great thing and it's a beautiful style though. So that's it for this video. I hope that was a quick kind of pro and con for you to kind of decide if this is something that you want to do and something that you want to install. Once again, make sure you visit divatress.com for all of your beauty supply needs and these will be listed in the description box as well as how many packs I've used, how long it took me to install because I know that's a popular question and yeah, that's everything. All right, films, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.